Okay, the latest update um, has some new features and changes in it. Um, so I'm just going to quickly run through them here. <clears throat> the um, tool buttons and tools have been all kind of consolidated into this one view. So you'll see at the bottom two extra rows, image tools and um, miscellaneous. And what this means is that, um, let's say for instance, you use the camera a lot, um, you're gonna get a camera button um, on the uh, tool button at the side or on the top bar if that's where you want it. And that just gives you quicker access to um, um, some of those tools. Um, the other change to do with that is um, being able to lock the tool buttons at the side and top. So there's now a padlock uh, at the top right. Um, so if you lock them by tapping on that, changes to a lock padlock. Now if I change, uh, use what any tool, the buttons on the top and side bars aren't gonna reflect which tool you're running. Um, so, you know, this was a tool button I used. Um, if I choose, um, another tool, then, um, that button's not changed, but it is using that tool. Um, so that allows you to set up toolbars at the top and side that are fixed and familiar to you. Um, and uh, <clears throat> easy, quite easy to configure because you just unlock, um, change it to the one you want, relock it again, you're done. Um, the next change has been to do with, um, well, trying to get the workflow on a, an image like this to be able to split it down into its uh, individual stickers more easily. So select that image, choose crop, there's a new button, save and continue. Um, and what that's going to let you do is um, set your crop region. I'm just going to zoom in a bit um, to um, the sticker you want. Then you press save and continue. And that's going to create the image back on the original page. Move the crop region along, save and continue. Um, move it along, save and continue. So I'll cancel that. What that's done is made me three images. So the next change to do with the symbol side of uh, it is you could select those three images, choose symbol, okay. Um, and when you press the plus, Okay, I've done some previously. So what I'll, I'll do just to make it a bit clearer is to, I'll select some of these that I've done previously. Um, so they're being cropped from that same original um, sheet. Um, I'm gonna press the plus button. So you've got a question now. It's detected you've selected a lot of images and it's asked you whether you want to create a symbol out of uh, a whole lot of symbols or create a whole lot of images or create um, one symbol per image. So that's one we want here. So I'll choose that. And now we've got our symbols created. So you typically, um, as I've done here, uh, split that whole sheet into um, its constituent stickers, select them all plus, and then you convert them all into uh, the um, one image per symbol uh, stickers. Um, and the final change is to do with palettes. Um, it was kind of difficult to um, create um, a palette. So now when you say plus, it gives you uh, a choice copy the current one well that's what it used to do which was was fine but was hard to configure it to other, the new colors afterwards 
create new with dropper or add to current with dropper. So we're creating a new one here. So create new with dropper. Um, and then I'm going to just tap on each of these. Um, and there you can see it's just adding the palette, uh, the colors to the palette on the left.